Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. And I know. I know what you're thinking. What is going on? What happened? I, I can't. I just, I couldn't continue the way I had it. So, um, yeah, we're doing a, a third restart. Welcome back. <laughs> back. Welcome to Fisher's Landing Part 3. <laughs> um, I... I felt the need to restart again, and actually, a couple reasons why. Um, I wasn't, a couple things, I really wasn't thrilled after sitting with it for a while. I really wasn't thrilled with the uh, theme that I was using. Uh, it's a cool theme, it's a great theme, but it's uh, the Rye Bluffs theme is the theme I'm using, or was using. And uh, I, I, I enjoy it, it's very nice. I built the map off of it, and I love the look of the map on it. Um, but I didn't like the way my city was looking on it. Um, so I decided to make a big switch. I made a big switch to... Oh, I don't remember off the top of my head what it is now. I guess I should have written this down. It's a 4K Ultra HD um, map theme. Temperate. It's like Temperate 4K or something. It, it's a really simple name. And I, I really like it. I really, really like it. Um, the greens are... The grass texture is more green. Um... I also did some more tweaking with the lighting, with relight, and uh, debating whether or not to use relight. Uh, in the end, I decided to go ahead and use relight and make um, and 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 use some of the filters, some of the LUTs that come with that. And so, if the map, if you're like, oh, this looks, the map looks different. Same map, just a different theme, and I do like it a lot more. Uh, the other big reason I'm, I'm restarting again is. Uh, is because my inspiration I kept I kept trying to force this Midwest city thing it's because that's what I grew up in um, but I grew up in Chicago a huge Midwest city not at all like the inspiration I was using and to be fair like after I built a kind of generic downtown it was like well uh, now what so I, I didn't I didn't like it wasn't as much um, just to be honest, it wasn't as much fun as I was hoping it was. So uh, that's kind of why the project took a back seat, uh, which is also why I spent all my well at that, that and I was in the throes of a Planet Coaster series where if I'm sure most of you have already seen it, and if you haven't, go check it out. Uh, it's a Halloween series. It's called Bro Acres, and I spent most of my time doing that uh, the last month, about a month or so. And uh, took a week off of making videos, making content, and I'm back at it now. And uh, you can expect hopefully a few more of these to be coming out. I'm really enjoying it. I, I've actually, to be fair, this is the most fun um, that I've had with City Skylines since I started this project five episodes ago. Now, uh, I, I really do enjoy. I've, I really enjoyed this. Once I finally got the flow, I, I really enjoyed this. So, yeah, the inspiration wasn't cooking for me. I was not digging the Midwest city because uh, the map started that way. But I finished building it on a trip to after a trip to Colorado, so I threw some of that inspiration in there. And so this Midwest city amongst these huge hills and stuff just didn't didn't sit right with me so uh, actually my wife took a trip um, oh three weeks ago ish to uh, Portland Portland Oregon and uh, I'd never even considered that city as inspiration she loved it and when she came back she's like yeah you should really consider using that city as your inspiration so I did some snooping around and I've actually been to Portland I was in Portland um, my freshman year of college I went to Portland with a with a buddy who was from there and did some sightseeing visited Mount Hood and stuff like that um, beautiful beautiful town and uh, the more I looked at it the more I was inspired and the more I decided that yeah I, I, I kind of want that so that's what we're doing here we're gonna be doing a city that's inspired heavily by by Portland and so I went on the workshop here <laughs> and scoured for a whole bunch of bridges unfortunately my bridges are not tall enough <laughs> for a lot of the bridges they clip the terrain um, I can probably get around that except for the idea of these pillars and the where the terrain takes chunks out directly um, messing with my uh, with my um, streets with my road layout so yeah so yeah it's just been and and, and another reason that um, it's taken me three retries here to finally settle on something that I'm pretty happy with for now <laughs> until episode six right is um I, I saw this on the Facebook group the Skylines Nation Facebook group someone was posting how it's 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 hard to to like 
you, you, you know what you want to do, um, but you don't necessarily know how to make the tools do what you want them to do. And that's where I've been at. I mean, I've restarted, even this attempt, I have restarted so many times. Uh, because I have a hard time. I, I, I've been really struggling getting those tools to do what I want them to do. And I finally feel comfortable. Like, I kind of know my way around the game now a little bit. And, and it's increasingly frustrating because I feel adept at Planet Coaster. And I think I'm pretty good at Planet Coaster. Not to toot my own horn. Toot toot. But that's a game I've been playing pretty much exclusively for almost two years now. I would hope that I kind of know my way around it. Know how it functions. Know how to make things look good. Have some tricks up my sleeve, you know? So when I jump into City Skyline, something that I don't play nearly as frequently, love the game, all had it since release, really loved it, but haven't really done much with it. Um, it's like starting from scratch, it's like being a total noob, and then to try and to watch all those awesome YouTubers play Skylines that I've mentioned in the past, and then try and do what they do, and just be like, it's it's incredibly frustrating. So that's why progress is so slow, because um, I don't know what I'm doing, and because I won't settle for anything to at least the caliber of quality of my Planet Coaster creations. I think I can be good enough at City Skylines the same way I am at Planet Coaster. So, again, apologies if you're like, oh my god, I can't believe you're starting over again. If you've even made it this far in the video, thank you. Um, hopefully, we won't restart again, and hopefully it won't die. And uh, I can't make any promises about anything, um, but... I really enjoyed making this episode for everyone, and I'm actually really excited to get back in and do more. Um, it's really handy to go search on you know, Google Maps for a while and then come back full of ideas, so hopefully we'll be doing that. So time to start talking about what's actually on the screen, and I know we've been going for almost uh, for seven and a half minutes now. But um, So yeah, this is my downtown to my Portland-esque city. It's still going to be called Fisher's Landing. I found this really nice uh, uh, city hall in the workshop. Really fits the vibe really nicely. One of the things about Portland that I uh, is really kind of like, oh, look at that, and you didn't, I didn't realize it until I started looking. Trees everywhere, full-grown, gigantic gigantic trees everywhere and some of like the plazas look like little forests almost as if they were um trees that never got cut down when the city was being planned and maybe that is the case i don't know when my wife was there she said that there are some parks in the city that is um virgin timber never been cut down um so maybe that's what we're doing so that's why if you're like that's a lot of trees for a little square yeah i know <laughs> i know it's on purpose and all the trees there's so many tree canopies over a lot of the streets and it just gives this really it, it really makes it feel much smaller than it actually is and so you'll see i place a lot of trees on the um here on the sidewalks and i really like it it, it helps fit the vibe of what i'm going for i also noticed if you were watching uh, we did that little bit of kind of modern um, apartments along the riverfront. We're going to be doing more to that, to the west of where that is now. We're going to be doing even more, some larger um, complexes. You can see here I'm testing out some new modern-looking assets. See, my original inspiration being a Midwest city, I steered clear of a lot of that stuff. Uh, but now that we're now that Portland is kind of, I've kind of switched gears towards Portland. Uh, they have a lot more like modern-looking um, buildings and stuff, and especially a uh, kind of a high, you know a fancy pantsy area with some more modern architecture or at the very least some more um, just traditional apartment complexes so you can expect those things fiddled with this church here i like the church here don't like the parking lot there i, I actually just kind of do bare bones here I, actually i think i might even just delete it and say screw it and uh, we'll try again another day yeah pretty sure i just say we'll try that again later um but I, a lot of the buildings that I'm using are similar, or are the same from the previous iterations of our downtown. So that was nice. I, I kind of knew what I wanted it to look like. Um, they're probably a little big for the for Portland, for a Portland-inspired city, but eh, I like them. Uh, I like how fairly generic and nondescript they are. I think that's nice. And so uh, as we continue filling in this park here, I wanted to make it feel... You know, foresty, but still feel like a park, not feel like just raw nature. So there's probably going to be a ton of trees in this in this in this project, which probably means a very low frame rate very quickly. Um, I also want to. I will probably spend one more episode doing this area, and then I'm probably going to jump and do like a coal power plant, just so we can get some power. And and then I got to hook up. I got some uh, basic highways laid out. 
got to continue with that and uh, get some peeps in here, get some get some cars moving. That would, of course, mean downloading a bunch of more assets, and uh, hopefully I'll be okay with that. Uh, I've got 32 gigs of RAM, and I think I've got about 1,900 assets um, of various sizes. Uh, I don't have any vehicles, though, so I might do that. Um, I think that would be needed if we're going for a fairly realistic look here. This is also the first time I think I've been using Move It for these buildings to make them fit a little bit better with each other on this on this road. I like how that turned out as well. A little Easter Egg Raccoon Club there. It's kind of for me, you know. It did that for me. So <laughs> uh, just some few more things, and this episode is not very um, lengthy. Because, but I did want to show you the basically from scratch. Um, development here. We're going to work a little bit on this hotel, uh, get it to look in like you can actually drive up and, and bring your car to valet. And I don't know where they'd valet it. We'll probably put a couple parking parking garages in and maybe give some hints at, well, no, you wouldn't really have underground parking probably this close to a river, would you? I wouldn't think so. I don't think that'd be very smart. So, but just very, very simple with the, with the entrance area here. I might need to add some lane markers. You'll notice that's not something I've really done a lot of. I need to do that. I need to use the uh, the line marker networks or whatever it's called or the props and try and get it a little bit more, you know, completed. So, but just checking out the various uh, angles here and there and doing some 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 picture taken and that's actually going to do it for this episode so if you enjoyed go ahead and hit that like button and if you're new consider subscribing so you don't miss anything uh have yourself a great day great night great whatever and i will see you for the next episode of city skylines take care everyone Bye bye <laughs>